Vicky. I'm so glad you made it. Oh, Michael, it is so good. I cried during the whole thing. Thank you so much for the tickets. We absolutely loved it, didn't we, boys? I'm glad you liked it. Oh, and before I forget, your house closes one week from tomorrow. That's wonderful, Vicky. That is great news. Well, I, I guess we need to let you get to your fans, but uh, look, I'll call you tomorrow in the house, and thank you so much for those tickets. Well, thank you for coming by. Good luck on those buyers. We'll see you boys later. Hey, come by tomorrow. I've got some music for you. Brilliant, Michael. Oh. Absolutely oh. brilliant. Thank you. Did I tell you guys that I met someone I kind of like? He's gonna come by this week and meet both of you. Does he have a boat? I don't know. Ask him, okay? Okay. We don't need and don't want another dad. But what if he has a boat? Shut up, Cade. Billy. What about me? Your dad's been dead for almost two years. Don't you think I get lonesome sometimes? When we get lonesome, just let us know. And we'll go and do something. Yeah, we'll talk to you. That's nice. But I'd kind of like to have an adult to talk to once in a while. Did you talk to the ladies at the office? It's not quite the same. We don't need another dad. Did you let Boo out? Ooh, I forgot. So you go and do it. And don't forget to lock the doors. Then come back and give me a kiss goodnight. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love you. Love you too. Sleep good. Mom, I've been thinking. I guess it's okay to go at that guy once in a while, but no one's ever going to take Dad's place. Don't worry, sweetheart. No one's ever going to take Dad's place. You sleep good. Now stay out of trouble. Excuse me. Yeah? I'm looking for Michael Chambers. Do you know where he lives? Yes, he lives right over there. Thank you. You're welcome. Marcella, what a surprise. I thought you were in Europe. How long have you been back? I want to come in, Michael. Why, certainly. Of course. stolen my music for your opera, Michael. 
and you have sold it. You lied to me! You made me believe that my music was worth nothing. And now look what you have done! You're gifted, Marcella. You've always been gifted. We can work something out. Stay away from me! I intend to tell the world exactly who and what you are, Michael. Because you are a fraud and you are a cheat. Please, Marcella. I can pay you. With what, Michael? Money that already belongs to me? You are such a fool, Michael. Be quiet. And you can forget about New York. Because once I am through with you, you won't even be able to get a job teaching music in high school. I said be quiet. I will not. I trusted you. Because of you, I believed that I had no help. And all along, it was you who had no talent. Enough! with yourself, knowing exactly who and what you are. Silence! They're, they're temperamental people. I've heard them argue lots of times. No, Mom. This is for real. He killed her. I know he did. Billy, look, it's... It's 2 o'clock in the morning. You really want me to call the police and have them come out and, and wake up the entire neighborhood just to talk to Michael? Well, I, I'm not going to do that. I mean, we have lived next door to the Chambers for five years, and they have been nothing but the greatest neighbors that anyone could ask for. Now, I want you to go to bed. And next time you ask for a double whatever that was, at 11 o'clock at night, just forget it. No, Mom. I'm telling you, it wasn't the ice cream. He killed her. Billy, go to bed. We'll talk about this in the morning. But, Mom! Go to bed. Ellen, shut up, Katie, and go to sleep. It's two o'clock. Oh! 
talk to you guys. Let's meet at your place, and then we can go to Blue Heaven. Yeah, we can eat there. And call JJ. Hurry. Gonna get a clue. Come on, guys, let's go. Okay, if you killed somebody, what would you do with the body? When no one was looking, I'll strap it on the space shuttle, then send it into orbit. <laughs> Come on, man, this is serious. I'd put it in the trunk of my car, then drive as far away as I could and dump it into some river. Yeah, that's cool, man. Okay, but what happens if you can't get it out of the house because you think someone might see you? I'd burn it in my furnace. Come on, man. There'd be smoke coming out of your chimney in the middle of summer. And it would stink like Eddie's dog. Hey, man. I buck his side of this. I got it. I'd drop it off the Sears Tower. And I put a little note in her pocket that says, I've lived a horrible life. Everyone would think she could make a salsa. Jimmy, you're a genius. I know. <sighs> I cut it up into millions of pieces with a chainsaw. Then I'll flush him down the toilet. Hey, man, I'm eating. Well, that's sick. That is gross. I put it in the freezer. Man. You really got to do something about that brother of yours. If I had the plane, i fly over the ocean, then drop the body. Yeah, buddy. If I was building a house, I would cement the body under the foundation. Hey, hairball. You remember the deal, don't you? You're only allowed to sit there if you keep your mouth shut. One more word out of you, and you're out of here. I'm going into Chambers' house to find the body. Who's with me? You can't do that, man. I'll say it again. I'm going in. Who's with me? How do you know he's not in there? Because I saw him leave. What if he comes back when we're in there? He won't. He teaches at the university. He won't be home until about five. That's the one. That ladder? Yeah, but it's too short. Are you sure that all the doors are locked? I'm sure. It'll reach across. Let's just forget the whole thing and go swimming. No, man. I got an idea. How long's your ladder? It's too short. It won't reach. Yeah, but I'll bet my sweet butt it'll reach from your bathroom window to that window right there.